time I put one in the water, guys. Time I put one in the water. Look, we got another one on. Got another one on. Look at that. Look at that. I'm running two at the same time, and a third one is down. Let me see if I can get this one. Look at this. So when you're spider rigging, you have to understand, or when you're trolling with this many, let me correct that, when you're trolling with this many poles, you have to make sure everything's spaced apart. I had one of my subscribers ask me, well, Cam, why do you run so many poles? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. The more poles I have in the water, the more fish I'm going to catch, okay? So I want to explain this to you guys. I'm running the, my Cam's Black Onyx, Black Onyx, Black Onyx, and I'm running one of my Nasty Sticks, and I'm running my Magic Stick, stick 3 Ball Bearing. So you guys get a, a real good look at me running four, five of my poles, okay? My Black Onyx is my 11 Ball Bearing, 10 plus 1 Ball Bearing with the Magic Stick uh, Split Grip EVA, and I'm running the Nasty Stick with the Cork Grip, Portuguese Cork Grip. All of my rods are handmade, and they are specially made to catch crappie, okay? So they're very sensitive, they're very accurate, and listen, they're not a, this isn't a real, this is an ultralight. You guys have to remember that. It's an ultralight. It's not something that you want to go out and catch a 30-pound catfish off of. They're all made out of carbon fiber, and I'm going to show you exactly what other better way to show you than to sit right there in your living room and watch me pull some of these crappie out here. Let's see if we can locate a few, okay? You guys will be able to see exactly what I'm using. We had a change in game plan, and you'll be able to see that coming out. Great. That's all I'm doing. This is easy fishing. Compared to what you guys see me doing all through the year, this is very easy fishing. All you do is just control the motor with your right and left hand. That's it. And listen, if I can run eight poles, I run eight. If I can run ten poles, I run ten. Look at that. Look, look. Just watch me. Just sit right there and watch me, guys. Yank! And let me tell you this. I'm running that hologram flake, red, black, and chartreuse. He's going to jump in a minute. i got to make sure he stays on. And that's that nasty bend hook. Look at that, 12-inch cropping. Once that nasty bend hook, I'm running the 116 nasty bend hook along. Matter of fact, let me show you. Look at that. Let me pull it out. It's tipped with a minnow. That red the hologram flake, nasty bend hook, and that red, black, and chartreuse. You can only get these at CAMS. You can't get them anywhere else, guys. I'll show you a little bit later in the program exactly the equipment when, what, what I'll be using when we, do, when we pull, go to a cutaway, okay? Let's put him in the basket. Guys, whenever you're crappie fishing, whenever you're doing any type of fishing, you have to leave your ego at home. And I'll explain to you a little bit more in detail what I mean by that. Guys, because we have a lot of new subscribers, and you know, you've heard me say this before to my old school cats, guys, that um, we always try to instruct people what to use, what to buy, uh, exactly what I'm using. So, you know, we're the manufacturer of these products. Um, we show you how to use them. We show you how to tie them. We show you exactly how far down uh, these items are supposed to be. And I want to kind of say this before we get started, before we get back to fishing. There are a lot of YouTube creators out there, and, and, and I've watched a lot of them. And these guys work hard to put that material together. We may make it look easy, but it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and that goes into making those videos. So if you have a subscriber that you, a creator that you like, make sure you support, support him. Hit the thumbs up, interact with him. They'd love for you guys to do that, okay? Um, I want to show you what we're going to be, what we're doing right now. My buddy Bert, him and I are out there catching these crappie like crazy. But one thing I want to tell you guys is very, very important. We have been searching for them for the last six weeks. You remember you've heard me mention in some of my prior videos that crappie are habitual. They do the same thing. And I want to, I want to, I want to slow down because I want you guys to understand this. Don't think for a minute that I don't have trouble locating crappie at times. Okay? They're elusive. That's what makes me chase crappie. And by the way, you just don't go out and catch crappie. You chase crappie. This is a year-round thing. Okay? But I want to tell you guys this. Right down there in the description, I'm going to show you guys my video that I made last year with to the week. They are biting at the same time, same place. I sound like a Batman show. I, I kind of dated myself there. But they're habitual. They're going to do the same thing. So remember, when you have your phone, take a picture. For, luckily for me, it's video, so I can refer back to my timeline from the prior year and the year prior to that. And they're going to do the same exact thing all over again, okay? Now, 
let me cover let me say this i'm gonna cover the rods and i'm gonna cover the, the the bobbers or the corks what i'm using and i also i'm gonna cover the hooks you guys remember in my last episode i mentioned to you guys you're gonna have to find you a good hook because we're gonna be running hooks and minnows all the way through december okay so you gotta have you a good hook we manufacture our own hooks here okay and you guys are seeing me use them right now if you purchase a rod and reel combo, a crappy rod and reel com combo from me, from me, congratulations. We're just about sold out of everything. But in the video right now, you see me using, um, I'm going to go over them real quick. If you like cork handles, this is my Cam's Nasty Stick, okay? This is the Platinum Series 11 ball bearing. Go to your garage, go to your, your trunk in your car. Look, how, look and see how many ball bearings you have in your reel, okay? This is a Cam's rod. Okay, matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you. This is a cams rod and reel combo. You see that? That's the nasty stick. This is the platinum and the cork handle, which is Portuguese. By the way, the cork was, was, was uh, imported uh, from Portugal, okay? And that, that cork handle acts as a natural conductor. So you'll see me using that one. If, you, if you're a fan of the split grip, which is right here, the all black, this is my magic stick, okay? EVA soft to the touch. Three ball bearing. If you like a three ball bearing reel, you want to come down and budget a little bit, this is the rod for you. It's already pre spooled, okay? So it's put on properly, okay? You have this, this, we're ready to ship them right now. We got about 18 of these. So by the time you guys see those, this video, you need to go ahead and take off and go to camscrappyhole.com and to see if we have any more left, okay? This is the magic stick, all right? They're exclusively designed to catch crappie. All of our rod and reels are ultra lights. Okay, they're designed for crappie and panfish, mainly for crappie, all right? And all of my rod, rods are handmade and reels. They're handmade, hand-assembled, and they're pure carbon fiber. I get customers all the time telling me, Cam, when the, when the box arrived, with free shipping, when the box arrived, I only thought that the reel was in there, man. I didn't know the rod was in there. It was so light. We get that a lot, okay? So, if you want to step up a little bit, I'm showing you what we have available because we're sold out of a lot of them, okay? Uh, blacked out titaniums, they're gone. The 8 plus 1 magic sticks, they're gone. Uh, the silver series is gone. They're sold out. So if you see it, be skeptical later. Go in there and pick it up right now. This is the Black Onyx. It's a 10 plus 1 ball bearing. My cams, okay? Matrix drag, line adjustments, automatic system. Okay, you can see you got the cams magic stick. This is the EVA split grip where you get the four handle mid grip and you get the, uh, the, the bottom grip. Okay, super, super, super light. And all of my rod and reels guys are balanced. They're counterbalanced. Okay, so that means it doesn't wear you out at the end of the day. Now, I got about five left of my most popular, which is the White Ghost. Okay, this is the White Ghost. This is my signature series. This is the top that I have. We've already sold like 500 of them okay in the last several months i'm down to five so if you think that you may want this if you even think that you may want it okay you need to go pick it up it's 11 ball bearings again go look in your in your garage in your closet see how many ball bearings that you have in yours it's sexy guys you, don't hang this rod and reel on the wall we call it the white ghost split grip you can see the cams signature series okay Guys, this is a beautiful rod and reel. So you'll see me, you, that's what I'm using out there right now. Okay, now let's cover the hooks. Before I get, before I get to, to my bobbers, I wanna show you on the other poles what I'm using. Guys, this is the latest sensation. This is my Cam Slow Death crappie hook. We have it in the platinum black and also the deadly blood red. Look at that shank, how it's curved, okay? And you can see how long that shank is, shank is because the crappie have big mouths, all right? You can see that. Guys, this slow death crappy hook is absolutely insane. Look at that curve in there. You see that long shank. You can see how deep the, um, the hook is. You see that? And all of them are chemically sharpened. Look at that. You see that? Man, that hurts too. Let me see if I can show it to you. All of my hooks are chemically sharpened. Listen, everything comes with free shipping. Um, so all you have to do is just go to Cam's Crappy Hole again and just go in, click, put it in, in your, check, in your uh, cart check out and that's all it takes we'll be shipping them out now I'm using these type of bobbers okay you can get these at any big box store they light up they have BBs in them so when that crappie hits you can I can hear it because we're going to be fishing towards in the evening too okay I got the big one because I'm catching 12 13 14 15 inch crappie okay this is what I'm using I'm running this about three and a half four feet above the minnow okay 
Don't run it at two feet. Run it about three and a half, four feet above the minnow, the bobber. So all what happens is when the bobber's being dragged through the water column, it makes that minnow rise up, okay? So all we're doing is slow trolling. And let me tell you this, when you have a buddy that's slow trolling with you, as you guys see in the video, you guys can cover more water and, and locate them faster like that. That's why I use this system. So if you're still out there and you're uh, spider rigging or you're you know, drop shotting, you may be fishing below the fish. You gotta be careful because the seasons have changed and you guys can see behind me all the leaves that are on the ground. When the seasons change, the crop has changed. Okay, that's very, very important for you guys to remember that. Now, my buddy Bert uses these type of bobbers. Listen, any type of bobber that you choose to use, that's on you, okay? Just as long as you know when this bad boy goes underneath the water. That's all that matters. And all we're doing, we're just tipping them. We're tipping that red, black, and chartreuse hologram flake with a minnow. Right through the lips, very easy. Don't go deep, in, don't go deep into the minnow's head. Just right through the lips. Right through the lips, and I'll show you a little bit more in detail when we do the cutaway. Look at that, look at that. Time I put one in the water, guys. Time I put one in the water. Look, we got another one on. Got another one on. Look at that. Look at that. I'm running two at the same time, and a third one is down. Let me see if I can get this one. Look at this. Unbelievable. This is that magic stick. This is my magic stick. God, look at this. A 12. 12-inch 12 crappie. Let's see if we can get the other one in. Real quick. Let's see if we can get this other one in. Unbelievable. This is my black onyx. I'm going to see if I can bulldog him. He crossed over. Come on, baby. Don't make a mess. We made a little bit of a mess, not not a big one. We got it off though. Let's see if we got it off. Yes. Oh, let's get him over the boat. Let's get him over the boat. Come here, big boy. Man, they hit. Guys, look. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's that red, black, and chartreuse. And we tip it with a minnow. That's that hologram flake. I'm going to show it to you once I pull it out of here real quick. Ugh. Oh, once these nasty bend hooks go in there. Mm, here we go. Got that one out. Got this one. Let's put him in the basket. That nasty bend hook in the water. I don't want that rascal hitting me. Look at that. If you're eating, 11 and a half, perfect size crappie that you're looking for. Now remember, the big ones can come out later on tonight. But guys, something, again, what I mentioned to you about, what I mentioned, matter of fact, let me see if I can turn around real quick. Got so much going on. What I mentioned to you about leaving your ego at home, listen, if you see something with your own eyes and you see it's working, just try it. What have you got to lose? If you keep staying in that goat trail of doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. Try something different. You'll be surprised. Let's put this one in the basket and we're going to get strung right back up table and I'm going to show you something new that we started doing and guys it's catching us a lot of crappy so listen sit tight this is a this is a cutaway from a cutaway okay because I had to come and update you guys in the last 24 hours okay so sit right there for a minute I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're doing that allowed us to catch three times as many fish as what we've been catching and it's so simple and I want you guys to be able to, I want to illustrate it to you so you guys can get out there and incorporate this again in your fishing. And you guys, you know, I don't do anything difficult. You remember I told you about when you're crappie fishing, it's the little things that you do big that helps you land more fish in the boat. So let me get over here to the table so I can show you. When I was out there fishing with Bert, he was using plastics tipped with a minnow and I was running straight minnows with our nasty bend and our slow death hook. Let me tell you something. He was catching eight to one by tipping his plastic with the minnow. We're in fall, the weather's changing a lot, okay? So therefore, you're gonna to have to do some adjusting. Remember, you, everybody on Instagram have heard me say this. When you're fishing, whether it's crappie fishing, bass fishing, catfish fishing, you're gonna to have to leave your ego at home. If you have a buddy that's catching fish and you're not, you're gonna to have to swallow that ego, you're gonna have to figure out what he's doing in order to catch fish. 
And what he was doing, matter of fact, let me show it to you. He was using the curly tail, red, black, and chartreuse, our new hologram flake. They're not even on the market yet. The hologram flake, red, black, and chartreuse, you guys have seen me use it in the spring. Well, he was using it in conjunction with our nasty bin minnow hook, okay? And we would tip it with a minnow. So I went out the following next day and I used the hologram flake stinger shad. Okay, let me show it to you. I knew they were biting the red, black, and chartreuse, so I tried the hologram flake stinger shad. And guys, let me tell you, they went crazy. I switched all four of my, I was running five poles, I switched four of them to the red, black, and chartreuse, and I had one with the white knight, our chartreuse tail. And guys, you can only get these, these hologram flakes here at Cam's Crappy Hole. All you gotta do is go right down there and look. Let me see if I can show you that hologram flake in there. You see that? Can you guys see that hologram flake? Okay, and guys, crappy have big eyes. All it takes is a little sparkle from that hologram flake plus the center of the minnow. And guys, I was yanking. You guys see me in the video right now doing it. And I wanna show you, I took the plastic off of the hook and I wanna show you how I was tipping the minnow. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. And this is very, very simple to do. With that plastic on there, with that stinger shad, all you do is just barely hook the minnow. I'm gonna see if I can get it up there close, right on the lips, okay? Just barely hook it, just like that, okay? That's how I was doing it, just barely hook it. And your plastic is down here. And we're trolling because we're trying to figure out where they are. And you cover more water that way. And remember, they're feeding off of shad or minnows this time of the year because they're getting ready to conceive at the end of November. Actually, they're probably conceiving now. And they're going to have carry those babies from November, December, January to February. And they're going to drop in the spring. So that's what we were doing. We were tipping the minnow along with that stinger shad and they were going crazy. Now, my two guesstimates are they want a bigger presence in the water, okay? The shad, the plastic plus the minnow, they can see it easier. Not to mention that hologram flake, okay? Let me pull this right back off here because I want to have this minnow. Let me put him back in the water. Okay? Let me put, get that situated right there. So, I was, again, I was running the red black and chartreuse hologram flake and i was running the white knight you see that white knight with that chartreuse tail guys just go right down there to cam's crappy hole they're ready to go right now and all we were doing i was running six poles he was running i think four he's still out there right now i had to come here back on land to show you guys exactly what we were doing because i had to update things and i had to con Catching crappie is a constant thing. Look, I didn't even shave. I went out there, guys. I knew I had to get set up because I wanted you guys to see this. Look, I'm still drinking my coffee, too. Mm, mm. Let me get a sip of that. Okay, so listen. Our new hologram flake, the, 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 we got four new colors. We got the monkey milk with chartreuse, with a chartreuse tail. Let me show it to you. This is the monkey milk. Okay, you decide which one you want. That's the monkey milk with the chartreuse tail. You saw the white knight. You saw the red, black, and chartreuse with the monkey tail, with the uh, chartreuse tail. And guys, this is our blue ice. He was catching them off of the blue ice tip with the minnow. Okay, I was running the red, black, and chartreuse and the white knight. So you decide, and we put that bobber about two and a half, about three feet above the um, the jig and the minnow. Okay, you can buy these because they light up. Okay, you can hear them when the, when the fish hits it, you can hear the BBs going. Now, I want to show you guys a new color that we have that's going to be coming around for spring. And they're not on sale yet. We just got them about two weeks ago, and I hadn't had time because I've been catching so many crappie. Um, this red, black, and chartreuse, you guys, let me, let me say this. This is the most deadliest color across the country when it comes to spring. Okay, you can see that hologram flake that we got in there. Okay, that red, black, and chartreuse, plus on top of that, our second most popular color, which is the blue, black, and chartreuse. Let me show it to you. With that hologram flake in there. Can you guys see that flake? That's the blue, black, and chartreuse. Guys, 
I want to thank you guys so much for showing love and supporting us. We've been doing this for a while now. We're pushing, we're starting to push our fourth year come 2021. And all year round, we catch crappie. That's all we do. We don't do anything else. I, I, as, as you guys have heard me always say, a lot of times I say it on Instagram, I do a lot of things, baby, but changing ain't one of them. But look at the bass are running right here in the shallows. And let me, let me give you this, speaking of shallows, let me give you guys this tip. When you're trolling, troll the bank, the shallow banks. They're getting ready to move into shallow water because they're feeding. That's where the bait fish are, okay? Guys, we're loading up. And if you have any questions for me, guys, my phone number, when you go to camscrappyhole.com, if you have any questions, my phone number's right up there at the right. So, again, as a recap, before I get ready to go, we're running the 116. You can see that nasty bend in that hook, okay? This is the middle head, okay? If you want a red hook, you can get a red hook. If you want a black nickel hook, we give you a black nickel hook. If you want a gold hook, we give you a gold hook. This is that nasty bend hook. And with, matter of fact, let me show it to you. With the stinger shad, we're running this nasty bend hook through there like this, pulling it through, and we're tipping that minnow right there. So it adds a larger presence in the water, and crappie can see it. Bow! They smack it. And with this nasty bend hook, once they get on, guys, they, they're not coming off. Okay, let me show it to you. They're not coming off. Okay, that's that nasty bin hook. So, I wanted to come and look at it, it's starting to rain now. I'm going to go ahead and close this segment back. Let's get back to some fishing so I can show you guys exactly what we're doing. And listen, until next time, guys, hang tight. This time, this time of the year, look at that. That's why I tell you, in the curve. I don't know what it is about being in the curve. Dang. Let me turn that motor off. And remember, I try to bulldog them a little bit on the outside to the right, okay? And I try to keep that hook down because they have a way of throwing that hook. Look at that. Guys, this is what you're looking for. This is what fall crappy fishing is about. And let, let me, let, look, I'm just going to show you as it sits right now. Let me turn around a little bit. Got another bite. Got another bite. You're going to have to hold on a minute, guys. <laughs> guys, this fall fishing, listen, you've got to take your family out. And let them do this okay that red black and chartreuse hologram flake i'm running it along with one of my white knight with the chartreuse tail and this is a matter of fact look that's that white knight with the chartreuse tail you can only get these at cam's crappy hole let me show it to you i'm gonna show you both of them okay that's that white knight with the chartreuse tail i tipped it with the minnow okay this is a perfect way to end the segment He's a little small one. We're going to let him go. But I wanted to show you guys. We tipped it with a minnow. That's that white knight with that 116 nasty bend minnow hook. Okay? Let me show you the other one. I'm going to put this one back in the water. Guys, this is Cam's exclusive. It took me over nine months to make these, these plastics. And they're ready to go, ready to be shipped right now. Let me get a little bit of slack in the line. Let me see if I can show it to you. Guys, this is a 11 and a half inch crappie. That's that red, black, and chartreuse with that nasty bend hook. And all we did was just tipped it with the minnow. Just barely stick that hook through the lips. And this is what, what the end result is, okay? Listen, guys, I want to say thank you so much for joining me, uh, for coming out. We're going to do a little bit more fishing. Let me turn you around just a little bit. There you go. We're going to do a little bit more fishing. And until next time, guys, you know me. I'm your boy, Cam. This is the crappy hole, and until next time, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn.